Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Slide Saga! And I just realized something very exciting, you guys. And yes, one of the exciting things is that we have a wonderful new mystery puppy that we get to learn more about named Rudolph! He is our yellow Labrador and we are kind of hoping that he is going to be Labrador. Oh my gosh, I have been playing a lot of the genetics challenge. My apologies. Labrador? Really, Siri? <clears throat> he is our yellow Lab and he is going to be hopefully a fantastic lead dog to give our dog Domino a little bit of a break because Domino is actually going to be racing his 100th race as a lead dog today. I'm sort of blown away by that. Like 100 races we have gone on with this dog. Technically 102 already. But we are going to be sending him out on his 100th race as a lead dog today. I'm very thrilled. I'm really hoping that he will have a fantastic time. I'm hoping Everpine might eventually show us if she's going to be like a wheel dog, a lead dog. What is she doing? Who knows? Yuki is probably about to leave and she's going to go leave so that she can go and hang out with my nieces and nephews, we're saying. So I want to send Yuki out and I've been thinking about maybe sending Sierra out too just so that Yuki and Sierra can kind of have a break and they can go and they can play with my nieces and nephews and also to free up some space that, so that we can start training some new dogs and also having some puppies, which I would be quite excited about. I think Maximus is overdue to have a puppy of his own. He is a fantastically kind dog. I think that he would have some wonderful puppies. Uh, he is a bottomless pit because he's huge as a St. Bernard and his rapport is really up with you. Yuki, but I feel like he'd get along with any of the other dogs. Maybe Stryker, um, but Maximus, and I've been thinking maybe Maximus and Mary could have some amazing puppies, to be completely honest. The Moose Mary puppies, eh? Eh? But let's go ahead and care for our dogs. I think everybody is actually taken care of. So let's go ahead and train our dogs and get ready for a new race. So let's see, not caretaking, we're gonna train. Everybody's training, including our newbie Rudolph, who has no idea. Maybe he doesn't even know how to sit yet. He has no idea what's going on. He has just entered the kennel of some of the most famous sled dogs out here in uh, what I assume to be Alaska. All right, and one more day and then I can beg my rope sponsor to come back into my life. I, I so regret getting rid of the ropes. Keep the ropes. Keep the ropes. You guys want the ropes. Where's my sponsors? <laughs> Please? Please, oh dear, and we have Yuki's happiness going down. That's the other thing, I'm struggling to keep her happiness up. No, we haven't gotten enough fame for sponsors. Oh, this is a tragedy, a total tragedy. All right, we're gonna have to start thinking really hard about winning the next races. So everybody train up. Everybody chase the ball. Everybody teach Rudolph what the deal is. He doesn't get to go on this next race because the next race is actually going to be for Domino. I'm so excited. His 100th race as our sled dog team. There we go, go down the line. We'll also race Everpine one last time as a wheel dog. Maybe she's not supposed to be a wheel dog. Maybe she's supposed to be a lead dog. And let's do it again. There we go. Let's give everybody some pets and then let's go on this race. Domino! Domino, it's your big day! It's your big day, buddy! I'm so excited for him! This is gonna be quite thrilling to see if he's going to have... Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many puppies. So many puppies to pet. If he is going to really be able to like get some fame, I just kind of want to cheer him on. Uh, okay, we don't want to be training. We're going to enter the race. I'm going to bring Everpine with us. Harmony needs to come out because she needs to actually gain some fame. But it's been a long time since Maximus has gone out on a race too. So this is going to be a little tricky because I'm bringing in two dogs that are not very well trained. But I need to have them out because they're getting kind of miserable not being out. So we're taking Everpine. Harmony and Maximus. And Harmony really wants some fame. So does Maximus. It has been way too long since their favorite thing. Their happiness is starting to drag down on the ground, but hopefully this will be the famous race to change everything. It's Domino's 100th race after all. Congratulations, buddy. Oh gosh, and it's a nice chill night race too. All right, let's start tossing the treats to all those who need it. Hang in there, Domino. You should be able to get some treats, no problem. Oh my, that got really, yay, that was the favorite thing. That was the favorite thing for, for Maximus. No, uh, Harmony, 
I think Harmony's a little upset because her favorite thing is also fame. And she has not had any fame for a while. Okay, Harmony, think think famous thoughts. Oh, she missed it. Dang it. If she had managed to catch that, she totally would have been able to get a little bit of fame. All right, Maximus needs some more food. Harmony, I need to be careful and try not to feed her until we get closer to like one of the boulders, but I can't let her get too tired either. And Domino, this is all about you. This is your time to shine, buddy. Oh, I forgot how Maximus will lunge out of place for food. That creates some problems. Domino, enjoy. There you go. Harmony, maybe I can feed you with like a sibling. <gasps> Harmony, Harmony, think hungry thoughts. Okay, catch this, Harmony. Yay, she finally had her favorite thing. It has been so long, she really needed that. There you go, Everpine. All right, gotta keep an eye on the puppies. Good, good, good. What was that, Everpine? What the heck? What the heck? That was for Harmony. If you'd been patient, a treat could have fallen on your head out of a tree. That's that's how races are supposed to work, right? Just having them fall out of the head, like the tree, onto your head. Okay, come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Really think famous thoughts. Domino, I'm sorry I just smacked you in the face. Yes! Yes! I'm so happy! Congratulations, Domino! His 100th race, and we have gotten all of the winnings. That was, oh, and look at, oh my goodness. <gasps> Wheel specialty one! But are you able or not? I suppose Everpine is now wheel specialty. If we want her there or not is another question. I do think that means officially that Sierra and Yuki will go on a vacation just temporarily so we can try out some new dogs and they will be back. They will definitely be back. Maximus has finally had his favorite thing. Almost enough fame to level up. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I don't know if Everpine is supposed to be a wheel dog or not, but she is learning. Harmony is doing great. Maximus is doing great. Domino is like, I'm okay. His 100th race, 100 races as our lead dog. I think that he's ready for a little bit of a rest. So maybe before we send away a couple of our really talented girls, we will actually go ahead and have Rudolph run his very first race because he is right over here he is ready and raring to go and we're gonna try to train him in the lead which is actually gonna be very tricky <gasps> oh it's a snowy race okay Rudolph mm, okay he's gonna be in the middle unfortunately because I want to take him out so we can start working on his fatigue capacity however a snowy race is Domino's right I am sorry I'm sorry it's Domino's right as one of our dogs who has done so much for us he deserves to have the race that he wants and snowy race it is so down we go taking care of all the puppies through we go again Everpine's adapted very, very well. I was really worried that she would never really quite make it, but she's adapted very well, and I do actually want Maximus and Mary puppies. Those are probably going to be one of my next goals. Uh, let's see. And then what do you guys need now? Everybody needs trained. All right, so let's train everyone. One day, one day I will be able to hire more help. Let's go down the line. How much would it be to rehire some of our old dogs? We can't even look at it right now, I don't think. Uh, oh, we can, good. But, so it's the same cost. So even with our, our rehires, who are the dogs that we have actually had born in our kennel before, or the dogs who we have gotten before, and then like with Moose here, Moose had really bad fault. That that bad catch fault is like an immediate no-go. Um, and then Cliffy is steady personality, which I think will never be lead, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then we have three days, so let's do this. Everybody trains, everybody trains, everybody trains. And we're gonna give everybody pets. Oh, I can't pet anyone. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go on our race. We are gonna make sure Domino is there because he wants a snowy race. We're gonna bring Rudolph in. So Maximus, you stay here. Rudolph, come here. And then Everpine, stay here. And then Wheel Dog Max, come on out. There we go, and then we're gonna have uh, Sierra and Everpine train with the jerk, and then Maximus can just lounge around the, the room for now. 
There we go. And then Domino's in lead. Max is there. Harmony is there. And Rudolph is going to become dangerously exhausted because he is brand new at racing. But we're going to do our best to kind of guide him through all of this. He has a 50% chance of... Uh, oh, and his favorite thing's a mystery. 50% chance of Tangle Free. 50% chance of... I really hope that isn't bad catch. Uh, and so help me. If that's the one where they drain the entire treat bag then we're in big trouble but thankfully domino can finally have his favorite thing again all right so basically <gasps> rudolph had his favorite thing was it perfect catch maybe it was perfect catch fantastic who knows all right let's toss him another one he's got to keep going harmony work on it work on it girl come on harmony okay so basically just keep keep um Toss and treats like no tomorrow to Rudolph because he has to build up his stamina and he's going to need like as soon as I can throw him more treats, he needs more treats like immediately. All right, there we go. Yes, I think his favorite thing is definitely um, perfect catches, which is actually pretty easy peasy to do. I think we knew that about him. No. Oh, no, Rudolph. Here you go, buddy. Yay, you got a little fame, Rudolph. Only a little. Oh, no, I think his fault activated too. Okay, hopefully it's not a really bad one. Okay, hang in there, Domino. Okay, gotta toss that treat. Uh-oh, where'd all my treats go? I probably threw them in the snow. That's where they went. All right, and there's that group. Keep going, puppies. You've got this. Oh my goodness. Harmony. Yay! Oh, sorry, Harmony. <laughs> all right, and there we go. Another first place position. That was fantastic. Max is doing just fine. Just, you know, usual Max ramping up a little bit of fame. Look at Rudolph go. He's actually really good at this. I'm quite proud of him. His fatigue capacity is going up. And even with such a difficult race, he still managed to pull things off and get a little bit of fame. Did Harmony get any fame? She always wants more fame. Yay! She got like three kind of little pictures. <laughs> fame is actually kind of hard to get for some dogs. And then other dogs like Max just like hoard all of the fame. Like, everybody got a picture. A little, like, a, you know, just a little cursory picture of, like, good job. Good job, puppers. But all right. So, Domino finally had his favorite thing, too, which makes me so happy. He needed that snow. He really did. Harmony is doing great. Rudolph has really impressed me. We have learned his favorite thing, and he seemed to be really good at the middle, um, which is not what we need. <laughs> we need him to be really good up at the front, and his happiness is great. So, we're going to rest those dogs and then I'm gonna keep an eye on the races that we have coming up Ooh, that's gonna be a long one and that's oh treacherous treacherous okay we're gonna keep the girls with us for now because that's gonna be one heck of a race but I think we'll go ahead and we will allow two or three of the dogs that we currently are juggling to go out and to have some time playing with my nieces and nephews so that we can make room to train up Rudolph and to have some puppies and then we can always bring those talented dogs back in the fold in the future so don't panic it's literally just making room for puppies which i know you guys will love however let's see what raleigh who hasn't talked to me in forever raleigh can you hit me up with uh, one of those rope sponsors but he has learned rudolph's favorite thing all right raleigh you know what come sit down have a cup of hot cocoa and just like you were so happy to tell me that he happens to be a yellow labrador you can tell me his favorite thing is perfect catches. We're, we're going to share a nice cup of hot cocoa with old man Rudolph, and we're just going to humor him. There we go. There we go. We're going to ask him about it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, now I get shown for, like, teasing my elders. <laughs> Rudolph's favorite thing is consecutive catches. He will get a happiness boost from catching food consistently. He doesn't like head bobs. What? I have never seen that favorite thing. That is totally different than I was expecting. Here I was like being all sassy and telling Raleigh I already knew all about it and I didn't. I didn't. He just schooled me. I totally deserved that. I should I should look with shame into my vegan hot cocoa now. <laughs> I've never heard of consecutive catches. That's so cool. Rudolph, you were a little mystery. If I could, oh, there we go. You were indeed a little mystery, buddy. So his fault type is greedy, which is very dangerous though, because I think that means that he can actually drain the uh, treat bag. So when I said, where'd our treats go? And I thought I'd thrown them, all of them. 
that may actually mean that he drained all of the treats. So we still have to try out things with Rudolph, but if that's the case, that's one of the most dangerous kinds of faults to have on a race. And I don't know if we should, um, if we should keep him if that's the case. I would love to, but that's just, that's like a, a deal breaker when it comes to dogs to have racing with you. So we're going to have to see how that goes. We're going to have to see if we can make room for puppies and we're going to have to see if we can survive this treacherous race next time. So we'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.